Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chris here with WooCurve. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an embedded checkout form using WooCommerce and using our plugin, Handsome Checkout. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chris here with WooCurve. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an embedded WooCommerce checkout form that you can use on any WordPress page using our product, Handsome Checkout. So. I'm here in our sandbox and I do have a couple things set up in advance, but I am just gonna show you this initial um, kind of from scratch walkthrough here. So if you're just starting from scratch, what you will do is you'll go to create new checkout right here and you can give it a, you know, a, a title, uh, whatever you wanna call it. And then here you're gonna have two options. So you can create a, a regular checkout page that uses one of our templates, or you can create an embedded checkout form and that uses a short code to put it on any WordPress page. So we're going to do the embedded checkout form for this tutorial. And, and then this is going to be very familiar if you're already using Handsome Checkout. So uh, you would just enter in the product and this is pulling directly from your WooCommerce uh, store from your WooCommerce product list. And then you got a couple options here. So you can do a one step or a two step. We're going to go with two step. And then you can either show uh, just placeholders or labels and placeholders. And I'll show you the difference here uh, in just a bit. So I'm just going to leave it on placeholders for now. Uh, we also have the ability to do an order bump on the embedded checkout form. And here, you would do kind of the same process. So we're just gonna add a product to associate with our order bump. And then, you know, you would put in your text, whatever you want here. Yes, I'll take it. And I'll just put in some, some test info right here. And then if we scroll down, you have the option to change the color of your embedded form. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like by default. And then you can decide which fields uh, you are going to show in your checkout form as well. Order details, customizing the step one and step two text, and then the, uh, the button that takes you to step two, and then finally the order button. So those are all things that you can customize just like in any other handsome checkout page. And then we also have the option here to put in custom CSS and JavaScript. And when I update this, you'll see up at the top, um, one of the things that will happen here is you get a short code and then you can take this short code and put it into any WordPress page and I've already got one set up and I'm going to show that one to you now because I've got a little bit of a design around it and this is called test demo five and so right here uh, this is this is roughly the same form that we just created, but this is a WooCommerce checkout form right here. Um, and this is pulling from another form that we created. And you can see I've got a video here. I've got this in a two column layout. If I wanted to have this in one column, uh, then I would go into Thrive Architect, uh, which is what I'm using. And I would just drag this down here or wherever I wanted and it would be in its own uh, column. And the other thing, if I didn't want this blue and green combo, then I could easily uh, change that using the features I showed you before. But this is what it looks like by default. And I want to go and show you. Uh, so if we go in here to embedded forms, this is the test demo five. And uh, a couple things just to point out, this is using a two step. And you can also do a one step, which just means uh, that you would not have uh, this one two step here would all be in one uh, one form and if you go to the next step you can see here is the order details uh, payment options right there and then you put your info in and you come down here here's the order bump that we've got set up for a test and uh, when you add it you see the total changes to 71 and if I change my mind then it goes back to the 55 so um, let me go back to the previous step and show you a couple things. So I mentioned before about labels and placeholders. So right now uh, we have, uh, this would be a, um, let's see, th this would be a uh, placeholder and a label showing right now. So if I, 
if I took out took that out, you see you've got email address on top and email address in the field itself. So if I just go to placeholder and I update it, then for all these fields when I refresh, the labels are gone and you just have the placeholders inside. And of course it's pulling in my information because um, I have uh, been testing this a while, so it's pulling from previous sessions. But um, you can see that if you just have the placeholders, it, it, it brings the, the forms together. Uh, it doesn't take up quite as much space, but uh, that's just kind of personal preference there. And uh, let's see, what else can I show you? Uh, you've got the order bump enabled. Oh yeah, let me, let me actually go in and just show you what this looks like inside of Thrive Architect. So um, you remember I got that short code and that's uh, 469. And so this is a uh, WordPress content element. And in Thrive, uh, the way that you use short codes is you would use this WordPress content, put in the short code, and then uh, all you do is put in uh, the info right here, click save, and then this is what you get. Now I mentioned before too that this is in a two column, and you can just see here real quick, if I bring it down, uh, then it's going to spread out into this uh, this area here. And you know one one cool thing that you you could even look at doing is if you did make this a one step, uh, you could actually change the color to sort of blend in with the background of your sales page. So even if you did a long form sales letter at the very bottom, uh, then nobody no, nobody has to click off of the sales page to go to a checkout page. They can actually do it right here. And you get the order bump uh, on the next step, and uh, and, and so it's, it's it's a pretty pretty amazing uh, powerful feature uh, that you have as part of Handsome Checkout, and um, and so I'm gonna I actually like the two column look, so I'm gonna take it back up here, and I'll exit. I don't need to save that, but uh, that is the process that you will go through to create a uh, a checkout form. Uh, or embedded checkout form. So I uh, hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, let us know. Uh, our support's always here to help you, and we'll talk soon.